Oh, hi. It's me, Joyce, just talking, just singing. And I'm here with my cat today. Her name's Yoko. No, not after Yoko Ono, but after Yoko, which is um, Korean for girl cat. My son named her. And uh, she used to have a brother named Namco, which means boy cat. But, you know, he passed away last last year. Anyway, this is Yoko. And I kind of like the name Girl Cat because <laughs> I'm a big fan of Breakfast at Tiffany's. And Audrey Hepburn was so wonderful in that role. Later, I'm going to sing Moon River. And I'll tell you why. When I was 13, I was going to a school in Hull, Quebec called Our Lady of the Annunciation. Yeah, a Catholic school. <laughs> Great place for a Jewish girl. But I didn't know I was Jewish, really, until later on in life, you know. Another story, another Joyce just talking, just singing about my identity crisis. Anyway, this is kind of about an, uh, an identity crisis story as well because when I was 13, um, I was invited to sing at a concert at our school. Um, Mr. Cavanaugh, Patrick Cavanaugh, who has since deceased, uh, very sad. I was trying to look him up uh, this year, and I found out that he had he passed away a couple of years ago. I really want to talk to him because he was a great uh, mentor for me, even though I only had him for one year, which was grade seven in Quebec, which is grade eight in Ontario. Anyway, he had invited me to sing at this school concert. And I said, oh, I know, I know, I know what I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing. He said, what do you want to sing? I said, I'm going to sing Step to the Rear. Well, everyone here, kindly step to the rear and let a winner lead the way. And he said, no. I said, that's one of my mother's songs. She sings that. No, 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 no. You're not singing anything that your mother sings. And I said, well, what am I going to sing then? He said, I want you to sit down with the secretary from the school who's going to rehearse with you every lunch hour on the piano, and you're going to learn Moon River. I thought, well, I didn't know Moon River. I'd never heard it before. And this is, a, we're talking about 1968. You know, this is the time. And, uh, and I thought, wow, okay, I'll learn this song. And he said, and I will accompany you on stage on guitar. I thought, okay, Mr. Cavanaugh, I hope I can do it. <laughs> So every lunch hour, I would rehearse with the pianist, with with this wonderful secretary from the school. I forget her name. It's so sad I forget her name. But um, she made sure I had the right key, and she went through it with me and helped me. And on the day of the performance, I invited, of course, my mom came to hear the school concert. And I was sitting in the audience waiting to go on stage. And my grandmother had, she made me all kinds of dresses from the time I was little, you know. She used to make these uh, cute little dresses for me. And this particular dress was very nice. I loved it. It was a little sundress, a little tangerine print sundress. It was just beautiful with a little tie belt. But I looked down at my shoes, and my shoes weren't very nice to go on stage. And I thought, oh, oh. And I looked down at my mother's shoes, and my mother had a beautiful pair of um, burnt tangerine slingback shoes. And, you know, I was 13 at this time, so 13, my feet were almost her size. <laughs> so I was tall. I was a tall girl then, you know. I was like 5 foot 8. I reached 5 foot 9 and 3 quarters at my full height. I'm now 5, 9 and a half. I'm shrinking a little. Anyway, I looked at Mom. I said, Mom. Do you think I could wear your shoes on stage? And she said, she looked at me, oh. She kicked off her shoes, and um, <laughs> the cat's bumping the mic. Say hello, 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 hello. Meow. <laughs> anyway, um, so she kicked off her shoes. I took mine off. I, I slipped her shoes on. They were a little big for me, but they fit enough that I could wear them. So Mr. Cavanaugh was my got up on stage to introduce me, and he said, I'd like to introduce a young lady who has a natural voice and has a great way of selling a song. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jitters. So I got up on stage, and I sang Moon River. And, boy, did he ever 
he knew exactly how to accompany. I, I had no idea about how this worked, but he sure did. And I felt so comfortable up there with him strumming the guitar and him looking, you know, encouragingly at me and, yeah, go ahead, you know. And I sang. And darn it at the end if I didn't get a standing ovation from all the, the parents and the students there. And it was just amazing. And then I got home. <laughs> well, I got home and... Um, I was waiting for my mom to say something. I'd given her back her shoes by this time, of course. Um, and I was waiting for her to say something about my performance because, you know, she uh, is was a singer, actress, model, an amazing entertainer. And so her approval is very important to me, always has been. Even now, after her death, believe it or not, her approval is important to me. Um, but she said to me in that... Irene voice of hers, pardon me for mocking my mother, but she said, um, Joyce, there's only room for one singer in this family, and that's me. And that's what all she said. There was only room for one singer in the family, and it was just her. So I learned to dance, to be in her shows. I danced the Charleston, Apache dancing, which was da 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 da, da 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 da, drag me by my hair across the stage, blah blah blah. Hawaiian dancing, lovely hula hands, graceful, you know, all that kind of stuff, and um, you know, jazz, attitude, attitude. I went to Bolan and Remains when I came to Toronto and took dance there. But you know what? I'll tell you something. <laughs> uh, she used to get people from my school, from George's Henry, when I was uh, there to get in to, to sing in her shows but not me and um, I think it was just too close you know because my mom when she was 20 um, she had a modeling contract and she had um, a film con contract with Crawley Films um, the National Film Board of Canada and uh, she looked just like Ava Gardner my mom was absolutely beautiful and um when when we my mom was 22 no which no she was yeah 22 we had a head on collision um i was in the front seat my dad threw me out of the car before the car hit us or else i would have been dead so passers by found me in a in a in a ditch but my mom was sitting in the back seat cuz we just dropped off a lady um you know on the way home we were giving a lift, and my mom was sitting in the back with her. And darn it, if my mom didn't get, you know, back then, <laughs> it was a little tiny um, vo uh, Vauxhall car, and the glass back there wasn't breakable glass, so it was shards, and it hit her in the face. And so she had, she had cuts on her face, which thank God didn't scar her. But she walked with a cane for a year with a limp, lost her modeling and her film contracts. So for her 13-year-old daughter to get up and sing and have this standing ovation and looking at me in my youth with all my life ahead of me and all the possibilities, it was too much for her. And I, underst I understand that now. I didn't then, and I really resented her for a lot of things for a lot of years, but I have since forgiven, and I understand. But it's awfully hard. So which brings me to Breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, it's not really well known, but I, well, it is a little bit, <laughs> so I'm not afraid to talk about mental health, but I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, which is, um, go look it up. <laughs> anyway, the character in Breakfast at Tiffany's, and it's interesting that Mr. Cavanaugh had me sing Moon River. Maybe he saw something. Maybe he, he saw Holly go lightly. Maybe he saw that character somewhere in me but um she i the reason i like you know this little girl to be called yoko which is girl cat <laughs> as she called her cat cat because she figured well once she settled down and had a life she would give the cat a name but you're my lovey i love this cat anyway um right cat <laughs> girl cat anyway i'm gonna sing um Moon River, um, but I, I love that, that movie because it speaks to me so deeply. 
Breakfast at Tiffany's. A lot of people think it's a weird movie. I think it's a wonderful movie. So here we go, right? <coughs> Shall we sing, Yoko? Are you going to meow along with me? Sometimes she does. Ah. Moon River Wider than a mile I'm crossing you in style Someday Old dream maker you heart breaker wherever you're going i'm going your way to drifters off to see the world there's such a lot of world to see we're after the same rainbows and waiting round the bend my huckleberry friend, Moon River, and me. So, thank you again for uh, watching another Joyce just talking, just singing. And I'll uh, leave you with that thought from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> I said universe last time. I don't know. <laughs> Galaxy. That maybe the answer to everything really is 42. Have a wonderful week.